Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do one of those challenges that have been going around the internet for quite a while now. I'm gonna do the no mirror makeup challenge. Now, I can't see any mirrors around. I'm gonna turn that viewfinder down once I'm ready to film because I just wanted to make sure I was in the right place. I have all my products laid out in front of me. I'm gonna do my everyday makeup routine without a mirror and I'm really scared. The only thing I'm scared about are my eyebrows. So let's see what happens. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm hoping you can see me because I literally have no one around that can check whether you can actually see me in the viewfinder down. And this is really weird. So I'm gonna, I've already prepped my face. I've got primer, I've got moisturizer, I've got everything on. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. I'm really scared about this. So, oh, this is really weird. And if you see me looking like off this way or this way, there's no mirrors there. It's just somewhere to like direct my vision. Oh my God, this is so scary. <laughs> Cause I actually have to spend the rest of the day with this because I'm not, I'm not in the mood to redo it again. Oh my god. I can't I can't even like commit to this, I'm really scared. Right. So I don't I think I've got one product that has a mirror on it which I won't look into at all. So I'm just gonna take this product. Oh I'm so scared. Because I've really tiny eyebrows. How do people do this? I don't know if I've got enough products on my brush. I was gonna cheat and do my eyebrows off camera and then come back and do the rest of my face, but I thought that would just be cheating a little bit, but I really wanna do that now, I'm scared. Hard enough to do my eyebrows with a mirror. Right. I think we just gotta to commit to it. I think we just gotta go for it. Oh my god. Right. This is sending my nerves over the edge, like. As if I didn't have. I didn't get anxious about things enough. I don't know when to stop because I don't know whether they're filled in. Oh my god. There's one good thing about this, I have glasses on. So if this goes badly and I want to go out, I'll just cover them with my glasses. Or I'll wear sunglasses. Who knows, I could end up with the most amazing eyebrows in the world. Mind you, you guys can see what's going on, so. Let me know in the comments below whether you think I'm gonna do this well or really badly. Because at the moment I think I'm doing rubbish because I can't figure out what I'm actually doing. Once more. Who knows? I might not have filled in anything. I might have just not put any product on my eyebrows. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go in shaking. I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna try and carve these out. Right. Oh my 
god, I don't know where my eyebrows are. I'm just gonna say they're right here. Before I just cut off half my eyebrow. And I usually do this, so I'm just gonna Let me know who wants to see me do the five minute makeup challenge because I don't know whether I could do that. I don't know whether I could do my um, makeup in five minutes. Um, I'm also really sorry again that I did not like this week. I'm just having a bit of mind block with what videos to film for you guys. As I say every video, if you have any ideas of any videos you think you'd want me to do, any videos you want to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll see whether I can actually do that for you. Okay, right. I don't know how that looks. My flow got look a mess. But I've heard it's on the internet, so who cares? Probably carving out my eyebrows is not the best idea to be doing. or easier part I think so I'm going to go in my Huda Beauty foundation in the shade shortbread I to wipe this bit off the back of my hand a bit of a waste of see that I put too much on so I'm going to take quite a few parts of these because I want quite a full coverage because that's how I like to do my makeup quite full coverage so I'm just going to take my body blender and just dab this all over my face. So this bit I think I could do. Got hair somewhere. This thing, bit I think I could do quite easily. Without a mirror. It's the rest of it I think I'd really... Not the rest of it, the eyebrows are the only way I think I'd really struggle with. I'm not going to do eyeshadow because there is no way I could do that. I'm just going to see whether I could do... Because I don't really wear eyeshadow every day, so I don't really, I haven't really used it for quite a while, so I'd rather use products that I know how to use, if that makes sense to you guys. But maybe I will do a, um, another one, my brain is not working today, another video where I do like a full glam, cut crease, everything, without a mirror. Let me like give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that and I will have a look into it for you guys. So I'm just going to keep my eye on my jawline so far and I'm just going to keep dancing that in. I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to makeup so this is really scary to me. And please excuse this massive or this massive red patch here. It only popped up like last night and I haven't been able to get rid of it. questions that you want to know about like any more things you want to know about me let me know and I'll answer some of them I thought my eyebrows have disappeared by now I've probably covered over them about six times right I'm going to use the point in my beauty blender and just try and Oh yeah, and if you see, <laughs> if you see that my lips a little bit fat, I've been, um, it sounds really stupid, I have been driving this morning, I've been doing a driving lesson, <laughs> and because I get quite nervous and when I concentrate, I do this, and I bite my lip a little bit, so I've been doing that, and I got out of the car and I noticed that it was really fat, and I was like, oh great, I will film a video with a fat lip. I don't know how people do this. Okay. 
Right, next part. <sighs> I feel like I missed a massive chunk of my face somewhere. Next part is more tart shape tape. story I say funny it wasn't at the time um so my mum and dad since I'm doing my driving lessons I asked if I could be insured on their car so I've had that done so I'm insured on their car and I went driving the other night to go pick Callum up from work it's quite late but yeah quite late I can't remember what time it was um and I was doing absolutely fine been driving for about half an hour 45 minutes something like that and i had to mount a curb to park and i've never mounted a curb before in a car like on my like parking myself um so i mounted this cur curb and i didn't notice there was a pothole right on the edge of the curb and as i went and mounted the curb went into this pothole and then went up the curb which made the curb even higher and I went ba -doof -doof, and popped the tyre so yeah that was an interesting evening what was literally just an easy pick up my boyfriend from pick up Callum from work and then go home turned into more of a let's say stressful situation and then I think I got myself so stressed I ended up being ill the next day so not good not good at all so what I say to you guys is don't mount a curve. Never mount a curve. Unless you absolutely 100% have no other choice, don't mount the curbs. Because you will end up with the same situation I had where I ended up popping my parents' tires. Or tire. and then I'm gonna bake. I'm so scared to see what this looks like. Okay. I am gonna try and build up my uploads to doing two a week again um it's just getting the ideas because i feel like if i do two a week obviously it means double the ideas i have to think of every week so hopefully i will get back it oh what's in my eye oh it dries out your eyes very quickly Definitely does not feel like I've got anything on my eyebrows anymore. I feel like the upside is when I was brushing them. <sighs> I'm still shaking, I'm still nervous. Cool. Okay, now I've got to do my classic lit thing. Brush this off with our powder brush. Okay, 
Okay, I think we're about halfway. And this seems to be taking so much longer than it does when I'm actually able to see. So, now I'm gonna go in with my contour brush and my contour, which has a mirror. So I'm just gonna turn it this way so you guys can see the mirror and I can't. So I'm really dirty mirror anyway. But. I'm just gonna do what I usually do and just Still breathe this stuff in. Okay, I think that's going to be it. I'm really scared about this. I'm going to now bake underneath that. Okay, we're just going to let that bake. And I'm going to do my top eyelashes. And I'm not looking at anything, I'm just grabbing my eyelash curler. This is going to be dangerous. Oh yeah, and I absolutely love this. I'm going to do a full review on all the new products that I bought. So that will be my Too Faced Bore This Way Foundation, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, my Too Faced Best in Sex Mascara, and some other bits I bought from Tarte. And I will let you know what I think about them. I've been using them for about two weeks, so I think my next video that I upload will be a review on them. And I definitely got that on my eyelid. Alright, next eye. I can, why can I see that so far? <laughs> now I'm going to brush away the bake. I don't know if this contour actually showed up. This is quite a light contour. And now I'm going to set my face with what's left of my setting spray, I think. Like so, and I need something to... Okay, now we're going to highlight. I don't know why I'm rushing through this, I just want to see what it looks like, I think. Now I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to use my highlighting shade from my MAC palette and my fluffy brush. And finally, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in Embellishment. So this is one of the tiny ones I got from that NYX advent calendar that Callum got me. Okay, last step is bottom lashes. So what I do is I put them on the top. And then whatever's left goes on my bottom lashes. Okay. Oh my God, this feels so wrong. I don't think I like it. See? These are literally pointing like this, I can see them. Okay guys, this is my finished look. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm now gonna do the grand reveal. So let's do this. I'm really scared. <sighs> so 
Right, ready? I don't want a mirror here. Three, two, one. Okay, it's not, it's not too bad, but those eyebrows though, they're like slugs and that blending is awful. Oh my God, guys, right. Oh my God, what did I do? Let's have a look. So this is, what it looks like it doesn't look too bad in the viewfinder but I feel like this bit the highlights down here the contour is kind of a bit dark on that side the eyelashes are a mess the lips and my eyebrows are just not what they should be I have a highlight here oh my god Right. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of today's video. I'm sorry I didn't talk a lot through it. I didn't really know what to say. It would help if there was someone else here, but that's what we're gonna work with. Um so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you laugh a little bit. And this is my finished look. It's making me laugh just looking at it right now. Um and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. And if you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that little bell if you want to so you get notifications whenever I upload but it's usually Sunday at 7 it's usually where I aim to upload and if I do upload on Wednesday it'll be about the same time um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again next time guys bye